the pressure that this guy is under to pick a side? Has he picked a side? No, I mean, there is no outward indication that he is going out there and saying that he's breaking ranks with the CEO. At the same time, it is clear that as he does his listening tour across the firm, he is listening to the frustrations and acknowledging the frustrations. The challenge is that he is in a very difficult spot. John Walden, when he started his career at Bear Stearns, was tied up with David Solomon in the early 90s. For the last 30 years, he's climbed the Wall Street ladder right behind David Solomon, first at Bear Stearns and then at Goldman Sachs. Now you have a situation where it's clear that he was the presumptive CEO in waiting. He was, he is the sole president of Goldman Sachs. And two years ago, if you had to ask anyone, when the next succession happens, whenever that might be, tomorrow, day after, two years from now, John Walden was the most likely one, was the obvious one. It doesn't appear that obvious anymore in the middle of everything we're seeing and the voices we are hearing from inside Goldman. I remember the previous obvious successor to Lloyd Blankfein, that was Gary Cohn. You mentioned this in a story this morning. How do you avoid being Gary Cohn at Goldman Sachs? It's a big risk. It's not just a Goldman Sachs risk. It's a risk in corporate history. Anyone who has been a long-time number two, unfortunately, runs a risk of always being seen as a deputy. At the same time, let's look at what the criticisms of David Solomon are. It is not a CEO who's run the firm into the ground. In fact, it's not at all the case. The stock's up quite a bit. The core investment bank has done well. They've done well with clients. They've had some successes in alternatives, fundraising. And therefore, if you had to think that John Walden is in sync with David Solomon on strategy, that's not a problem. A lot of the criticisms about Solomon emanate from the personality. They are personality criticisms, which have a major bearing. But you don't hear the same things about John Walden, who clearly seems to be much more well-liked across the firm.